and welcome to the session. In this session, we discuss the following question which says, a die thrown again and again until three sixes are obtained. Find the probability of obtaining the third six in the sixth throw of the die. Before we move on to the solution, let's recall the binomial distribution. According to which we have probability of x equal to x is equal to mcx into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x where we have x is equal to 0, 1, 2 and so on up to n. Here we have n is equal to the number of trials in an experiment then this capital X is the random variable small x is the number of successes Then the small p is the probability of getting a success in a single trial and q is the probability of getting a failure in a single trial and we have p plus q is equal to 1. This is the key idea that we use in this question. Let's move on to the solution now. Now in the question it says that we need to find the probability of obtaining the third 6 in the 6th throw of the die. So we have the probability of obtaining third 6 in the 6th throw. of the die would be equal to the probability of obtaining two sixes in first five throws and one six in sixth throw. So this means this would be equal to the probability of obtaining two sixes in first five throws multiplied by the probability of Obtaining one six in sixth throw. Now the probability of obtaining one six in the sixth throw would be equal to one upon six. Let this be equal to small p. So small p is the probability of getting a success which is probability of obtaining 1 6 in the 6th throw and this is equal to 1 upon 6. Now we know that p plus q is equal to 1 where this q is the probability of getting a failure and from here we get 
q is equal to 1 minus p putting the value for p we get 1 minus 1 upon 6 so we get q is equal to 5 upon 6 so we have p equal to 1 upon 6 and q equal to 5 upon 6 now let's find out the probability of obtaining two sixes in first five throws and this would be equal to using the binomial distribution in the key idea we get this would be equal to mcx into p to the power x into q to the power n minus x now here we would take n that is the number of trials would be 5 since we are doing 5 throws x is the number of successes and in this case it would be 2 since we would be obtaining 2 sixes and that is the success so x would be equal to 2 the small p is the probability of obtaining 1 6 in the 6th throw which is equal to 1 upon 6 that is small p is equal to 1 upon 6 and q is equal to 5 upon 6 so now putting the respective values in this we get the probability of obtaining 2 sixes in first 5 throws would be equal to 5c2 into 1 upon 6 to the power 2 into 5 upon 6 to the power n minus x which would be 5 minus 2 that is 3 and so this is equal to factorial 5 upon factorial 2 into factorial 3 into 1 upon 6 into 1 upon 6 into 5 upon 6 into 5 upon 6 into 5 upon 6. So further we get this is equal to 10. That is solving this. We get 10 multiplied by 125 upon 7776. Further this is equal to 1, 2, 5, 0 upon 7, 7, 7, 6. So this is the probability of obtaining two sixes in the first five throws. That is 1, 2, 5, 0 upon 7, 7, 7, 6. Now, probability of obtaining third six in the sixth throw of the die is equal to probability of obtaining two sixes in first five throws multiplied by probability of obtaining one six in the sixth throw. So now we have the probability of obtaining third six in the sixth throw is equal to probability of obtaining one six in the sixth throw which is equal to p that is 1 upon 6 multiplied by probability of obtaining two sixes in first five throws that is 1 2 5 0 upon 7 7 7 6 so this is equal to 1 2 5 0 upon 4 6 6 5 6 now 2 625 times is 1250 and 2 2 3 3 2 8 times is 4 6 6 5 6 and so this is equal to 625 upon 2 3 3 2 8 so finally we get the probability of obtaining third six in the sixth throw is equal to 
625 upon 23328. So this is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.